Welcome to Wellness by Mommy. I hope you are safe and sound. In today's video, let's talk about non-breast related breast pain. At the end of this video you will have a better understanding that breast pain is common. The pain usually results from other causes, which can include breast related issues as well as non-breast related issues. But it can be worrisome when you have it especially if you are concerned that it could be a symptom of breast cancer. Watch my previous video, where I explained in details, everything you need to know about breast-related breast pain. Now let's look at non-breast-related causes of breast pain. Sometimes pain occurs so close to the breast that it's hard to tell whether the pain is in the breast or beneath it. There are several non-breast-related causes of this type of pain. Costochondritis. Costochondritis is inflammation of the chest wall cartilage. If the cartilage near the sternum, breastbone, becomes inflamed, it may cause pain on the right side or left side of the chest or in the breast area. Chest wall injury. Lifting, exercising, shoveling, or bending improperly can cause a pulled muscle in the chest wall, a rib fracture, a back injury, and more. These injuries can cause a sharp, knife-like, or burning pain near the breast. Muscle spasm. The chest wall muscles below the breast may spasm, causing pain that may last between a few seconds to several days. Pain from tense chest wall muscles can occur on either side. Spine disease. Degenerative changes of the spine, such as cervical or thoracic disc disease, can sometimes cause pain in the breast area. Fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia may cause aching, sore pain anywhere in your body, including the chest. Fibromyalgia can affect muscles, joints, and connective tissues, creating generalized or focused pain. It also causes fatigue, sleep problems, numbness, tingling sensations, and thinking and memory problems. Airway problems. Some lung conditions may cause pain that involves the breast area. Two examples include pneumonia. Because the lungs are in the chest area underneath the breasts, this infection of one or both lungs can cause dull breast pain. This pain becomes sharp with coughing or taking a deep breath, called pleuritic pain. Pulmonary emboli. Blood clots in the legs can break off and travel to the lungs causing pain that feels like it is coming from the breast. Heart attack. What may be perceived as breast pain could be a sign of a heart attack. Potential symptoms of a heart attack that warrant immediate medical attention include chest pain or pressure, pain in the neck, jaw, or left arm, shortness of breath, sweating, nausea, lightheadedness or passing out, a feeling of impending doom. Heart attack symptoms in women. Heart attack symptoms are often very different, and more vague, for women than for men. Rather than having crushing chest pain, women may simply not feel well or dismiss their chest discomfort as cyclic or non-cyclic breast pain. Esophageal problems. Since the esophagus runs below the left breast, gastroesophageal reflux disease, GRD, can occasionally feel like breast pain. This pain may feel more like a burning pain and may be accompanied by an acidic taste in the mouth. Other digestive system conditions also may cause pain that feels like it is coming from the breast or shoulder area, for example, gallbladder disease, which occurs on the right side. Shingles, burning or tingling pain on the skin or outer surface of the breast may be shingles a skin condition that tends to affect people over the age of 70 but can occur in anyone. With shingles on your breast, the pain may precede the onset of the rash by several days. When do you seek medical guidance? It's important to see a healthcare provider, either your primary care physician or your gynecologist, for any new breast or nipple pain. While most cases of breast pain are mild and easily managed, you do not want to delay a diagnosis of breast cancer or a serious non-breast related cause, like a heart condition. Besides pain, other breast related symptoms that warrant a healthcare provider's evaluation include breast swelling, even if no discrete lump is felt, 
skin changes on your breast or nipple, including redness, scaling, thickening, or dimpling, nipple discharge, other than breast milk, swollen lymph nodes, especially around the collarbone or armpit. Diagnosis. If you have breast pain, it's important to make an appointment to see your health care provider. The good news is that most cases of breast pain are mild, self-limiting, will resolve without treatment, and benign, non-cancerous. It's still important to get a diagnosis and treatment in case there is a serious cause or if your pain won't resolve quickly on its own. Medical history. When you see your healthcare provider for breast pain, they will ask you questions prior to performing a physical examination. While not an exhaustive list, here are some questions your healthcare provider may ask you. Is your pain located in one breast or both? What does the pain feel like? Is your pain mild or severe? Are you taking birth control pills or hormone therapy? If you're premenopausal, does your pain occur at regular intervals? like mid-cycle or just prior to menstruating? Have you recently experienced any trauma to the chest? Have you recently engaged in a vigorous exercise program that involved the chest muscles? Do you have a family history of breast cancer and or a history of a benign breast condition? Physical examination. During your physical exam, your healthcare provider will visually inspect your breasts to look for any abnormalities like skin changes rashes, or swelling. Next, they will press on your breast tissue to determine whether any lumps or masses are present or whether there is any nipple discharge. They may also press on and examine your back, shoulder, and chest wall, in addition to listening to your heart and lung sounds. Imaging. If you have breast mass or lump, you might have a diagnostic mammogram and or ultrasound. In some cases, a breast magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, scan will be needed. According to the American College of Radiology, ultrasound is typically used to evaluate women under age 30 with non-cyclic breast pain. For women 30 and older, ultrasound, mammography, digital breast tomosynthesis, also known as 3D mammography, can all be considered. Biopsy a breast biopsy is a procedure during which cells are removed from an area of concern. This is the only definitive way to diagnose or rule out breast cancer. Once the cells are collected, a medical specialist called a pathologist will examine the cells with a microscope, blood and other tests. If your healthcare provider suspects a non-breast related source for your pain, you may need further tests. For example, your healthcare provider may order an x-ray of your chest if you have signs of a rib fracture. If you have signs of angina, severe heart-related chest pain, or a heart attack, you may have an electrocardiogram, ECG, cardiac enzyme blood tests, and appropriate intervention. Treatment. The treatment plan for your breast pain will depend on your diagnosis. While some conditions may require simple self-care strategies, other conditions require medical or surgical interventions. Self-care strategies. If your breast pain is due to cyclic or non-cyclic nostalgia, your healthcare provider may suggest one or more of the following strategies. Wearing a well-fitted bra with steel underwire during the day and a soft, supportive bra at night. Wearing a sports bra during exercise. Applying a warm compress to the tender breast or chest wall area. Stopping or changing the dose of your birth control pill or hormone replacement therapy, if applicable. Quitting smoking. Eating a low-fat, caffeine-free diet. Medications. If a pulled chest wall muscle is the source of your pain, your healthcare provider may recommend Tylenol, acetaminophen, or a nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID, to soothe your pain. Less commonly, if the pain is severe and or persistent, your healthcare provider may recommend a trigger point injection. Tylenol and NSAIDs like Advil or Motrin, ibuprofen, are also used to ease the pain of cyclic or non-cyclic nostalgia and breast cysts. If cyclic breast pain persists for more than six months, a short-term course of tamoxifen, one to three months, may be prescribed. That said, 
The drug carries potential side effects like hot flashes, vaginal dryness, joint pain, and leg cramps. In addition, tamoxifen also has potentially serious side effects, like an increased risk of blood clots, stroke, uterine cancer, and cataracts. Antibiotics are the first-line treatment for mastitis and for non-resolving ductal ectasia. Surgery Surgery may be needed for the treatment of certain types of breast pain. For example, if an abscess is found on the breast, surgical drainage could be necessary. Likewise, for most people with breast cancer, surgery is an essential part of the treatment plan. Prevention You can lower the risk of some causes of breast pain such as shingles or a pulled muscle. For example, you can have a shingles vaccine, and you can be careful with exercise and lifting. But these problems can occur even with preventative methods. Breast cancer rarely causes pain as the initial symptom, but infections or scars from surgery may cause pain at later stages of the disease. Breast cancer prevention and early detection is important. There are some things you can do to help prevent breast cancer. Maintain a healthy weight and exercise regularly. Limit alcohol consumption. Practice breast self-awareness and perform breast self-exams. It's important to talk with your healthcare provider about when you should begin screening for breast cancer, how often you should be rescreened, and what your personal risk factors for developing the disease are. According to the American Cancer Society, a woman of average risk for developing breast cancer can start screening at the age of 40, getting a mammogram every year. Women of higher risk, like those with a strong family history of breast cancer and or a known BRCA1 or BRCA2 gene mutation, should get a breast MRI and a mammogram every year, usually starting at the age of 30. Be sure to see your healthcare provider if you develop breast changes, even if you had a recent normal mammogram. Although breast pain can be alarming and stressful to experience, more often than not the underlying cause of the pain is not breast cancer. Getting the pain professionally evaluated is important, though, since treatment is diagnosis-specific. Once an appropriate diagnosis is made, you can get started on treatment to help to ease your pain. I hope you find this helpful. Please subscribe for more interesting, evidence-based, educative and informative videos. Like and share this video. Turn on your notification icon so you can be notified when next I drop a new video. I desire for you good health and long life. See you in my next video. Till then, stay safe and remain healthy. Peace.